This is my favorite. Mm. This is my favorite. Okay, so like we all take planes from wherever you want to be in the United States to Los Angeles. Commercial. Commercial freight from Los Angeles to New Zealand, no problem. Some sort of that's the North Island. I think it's is it Auckland? I think it's Auckland. It's actually the yeah, oh well, yeah, it is the North Island, Auckland. Right. And then we take another plane to the South Island. Right, to Christchurch. To Christchurch. And then the United States military flies us on giant military cargo planes. I don't know if they're C-17s It's or, pretty intense. Or what they are. Yeah, and that's, that, I'm no so excited. No seats. Yeah, no seats. You're, you're like in the human, netting. You're human cargo. Yeah, yeah. And then we land on uh, Ross Island where McMurdo is. McMurdo's the largest American base, or the largest base on the continent. We land there. We have to go through uh, survival training there, and we do all kinds of stuff like you have to dig a trench, you have to make an igloo, uh, you have to do all these things to prove that you won't die, and they leave you alone overnight. Of course, it's not really overnight because the sun's not going to set. They leave you alone for the sun to do this one time, yeah. and you have to be alive at the end of it before they let you actually go do other stuff. Yeah, if you live, you get to go on and do I your don't think work. anybody's ever died in the training because yeah. they don't put you very far away. Incidentally, but... it's called Happy Campers. Yeah, it's called Happy Campers, which is awesome. And so in New Zealand, we would have been suited up with the big red coats and the big boots and all like the gear. And then pretty much from there, this is where it gets like unbelievably awesome. Like, I mean, you're already in Antarctica, but the island that we're on with Murdo is surrounded by ice. So it looks like it's part of the continent, but really you're surrounded by just frozen ocean. And then we'll be taking other planes from McMurdo up, 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 up towards the South Pole into the mountains of Antarctica. Because if you think about it, we're looking for fossils, so we need to have exposed rock faces. We're not going to be at the coast. We're not going to be seeing penguins every day. We're going to be seeing nothing every day. Um, just rock and ice, which is, I think, kind of awesome. But there's a base up there that we'll be staying at. That's like our headquarters up in the mountains. And to go to our individual sites at different peaks, you know, because there'll be peaks poking out of all these glaciers and ice areas, we're actually taking helicopters, like every single day, everywhere we go, different helicopters. Because you know how to walk on the glaciers, because there's crevasses and instability. Right. And, and, and <laughs> every, everywhere we go, we will have a professional mountaineer with us. Right. Which is essential. Right. Yeah. I think the best one is the planes going from McMurdo to the camp in the mountains. So not helicopters, but the planes. They kind of go back and forth. They're on skis, first off. They're not on wheels. And sometimes they get going so fast that the friction melts the snow and the plane like sinks as it's trying to like go through the runway. So they have strapped to the side of the plane like multiple like fire jet engines, jet engines yeah. and it's called jet assisted takeoff. And so you might be going like regular, like you know, you're in the plane and it's shaking. And then you kind of get this like into your seat because like these downward pointing engines are like and the plane does what a normal plane does. But I'm just like crossing my fingers for a jet assisted takeoff at some point. It's gonna happen. Oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope so.